Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look today at using watermarks to put in backgrounds and overlays on top of a model. So I have this pretty cool looking uh, haunted house, Adams Family type uh, model here. I downloaded this from the warehouse. Looks pretty good. I like it a lot. But uh, it's not really selling the spooky right now, you know what I mean? Um, I need to get some background in here, maybe some fog up front. Uh, something something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my styles window and click on edit. In here I'm going to click on this fourth button. It has a little OK floating over the front of a box indicating this is the watermark tab. I click that it's going to list all the watermarks and I don't have any in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by inserting one. I'm click on the plus and I'm going to choose a watermark, an image to load as a watermark. I'm going to start with this Spooky Night JPEG. So I'm just going to double click on that. And that's going to load in. Now it's going to ask me for the name first. So I'm going to call this my sky. And first choice is, is the background or an overlay? An overlay is laid on top of the model while the background goes behind it. Fairly obvious, right? So I'm going to choose background, then click next. And now it's going to ask me a couple things, including uh, my blend. How much do I want, how translucent do I want this to be? So you can see if I get a little bit less of that, if I bring it back a little bit, I can actually see this dividing line right here between sky and the ground. I don't need that. I'm just going to turn my image 100% up. That's what I want. I'm going to hit next. You can see right now what it's doing is it's stretching to fit the window. What it's doing is keeping the aspect ratio of the actual image, but making it as big as it can get. So it's kind of topping off at the bottom and top, but it's not quite filling on the outside. So my other options here are to tile it, which is going to look weird because that's going to repeat, or position it. When I choose position, first thing it asks me for is where do I want to anchor it? I'm going to anchor in the middle of this the drawing, and I'm going to scale it up until rather than just meeting the top and bottom, it stretches out and meets the left and right too. Once I'm done with that, I can hit finish. And look what happens over here. A couple things show up. Um, not just our sky layer, but we actually have a model space layer. The model space is on top of the sky, indicating that our model is going to float on top of this uh, sky that we have, or this, this background image we have in here. So this is going to show us always what the order of these images or layers are. So if I had a second background image, say I want to put, put something else in here, I'm going to grab these bats and I'm going to put those in. I'll call them bats because I'm imaginative and original. And I do want that to be a background. As soon as I click background, look what happens. They jump back behind the model. If I look at my tree over here, they're in front of the sky but behind the model. If I was to reorder that, I could actually use these arrows once this is added all the way. I can use my arrows to reorder where those are at. Um, I want to be a background. Next. Um, I'm not going to make any translucency on here. Actually, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll leave it a little bit see-through. Um, and I'm going to position these. I'm going to put these maybe in the upper right corner or something like that. Let's see how that looks. Um, i got to add it first. Make them a little smaller. Move it around. Yeah, it actually looks pretty cool. All right, so once I get that, I can hit finish. And I'm just going to get this out of the way real quick. And see, there we have some bats flying up. And like I was saying before, I can actually use this window now to reorder things. So if I wanted, I could put the sky in front of the bats. Obviously, that doesn't work since this is completely opaque. It covers the bats up. So I'm going to put this right back down at the bottom. So you can see you can mo use multiple different images and with things like transparency you can actually pile them up to make whatever look you want in the back. We can do the same thing in the front too. I'm going to cover up the bats temporarily and I'm going to go add some more. I'm going to add, uh, we'll start with this logo. I'm going to go ahead and open that and I'm going to call this our logo and I'm going to overlay. This is go in front of the model. Um, again, translucency if I want. I can actually set a little bit of a transparency. I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to say next. 
I'm going to position this in the lower right corner. And I'm going to shrink it down a little bit so it's totally on that gray section. Done. And I have my uh, SketchUp logo, SketchUp Skill Builder logo in the lower right there. Because it's in front of the model, as I move the model around, you'll see it'll always be in front of it. That's again because of my order here. That looks pretty good. That's not very spooky though. We got to add at least one more spooky thing here. So I'm going to go ahead and add one more and I'm going to add this fog image. So this is a picture, a black and white picture of some clouds is all it is. But I can use it as an overlay. So it's going to go in front. I can set the uh, how transparent or translucent I want that to be. That looks pretty good. I'm going to use position again to stretch it out to fill the whole screen and hit finish. That's a little different from the way that fog command actually works. Fog is, of course, based on the distance from the camera. This actually puts kind of a fog over the top. Again, it's above, so as I move this, you can see the fog is going to stand still and be in front of the actual model. Um, I might want to this point take advantage of being able to order these layers again by taking my logo layer and putting it to the very top so it sits on top of that fog. So there you go. We can use watermark to create multiple backgrounds or overlays and combine them together to make a great looking image in SketchUp. Thank you.